At the oldest and largest alligator farm in the world, T. Mike Kleiber is teaching his five-year-old son Blaze how to wrestle one of his thousands of gators. If he's gonna do it, I'd rather know how to do it and instead of making a mistake and, and end up being hurt. This is why I show him everything about the gators that I know. But his mum, Sarah Bordelon, isn't as delighted about Little Blaze's new hobby. Look at me, Mom. It's a little bit um, hard for me. I had to watch Blaze do this his whole life, pretty much. He'll come home and tell me about it, you know, and I'll have to hear different stories. And he does get bit, you know, sometimes, and not by a big one, obviously, but yeah. When I grow up, I want to be an alligator wrestler. In the 1930s, deep in the Louisiana swamps, the Clyburn alligator farm was opened by T. Mike's grandfather, Harvey. Meaning just like Blaze, he's been around the beasts his entire life. They're not just animals or reptiles or here for people to see. They are their actual family. It's not often that family wants to kill you, but these uh, alligators naturally are predators. They will hurt you when it comes down to it and you corner them and get them scared. They're dangerous. The biggest gator on the farm is around 15 feet long, and T. Mike has been known to wrestle beasts that weigh an astonishing 1,000 pounds to entertain the flocks of tourists who have become the farm's main source of income. Different people throughout my, my time of working, a lot of people say what I do is stupid, but to me it's, a, it's an everyday job, a joy. You do get hurt from time to time, yeah, but that comes with the job, it comes with any job. Dealing with gators and crocodiles can present huge dangers. And just like his dad, Blaze has been bitten. So Blaze came home and he tells me he got bit by a crocodile. If it was worse, I'd have called you and told you, but, I know, but it wasn't still. bad. And I was already upset about it because he knows better. Well, I told him to tell his mama everything. I'm his mom. Hopefully he'll just want to go to college. Then he wants to be a vet. We'll see. Don't worry about him. He might end up missing a finger too, but he'll always have his hand or his arm. <laughs> I don't think so. But the clear dangers have not stopped T. Mike wanting Blaze to carry on the family's gator farming traditions. Well, in the future, I hope he does carry on what a uh, family tradition, uh, heritage and culture. We want him to continue that and carry it on and uh, do what I've done growing up. And, you know, I'm sure there will be times that he changes his mind and wants to do this or that. But in the end, I hope he does uh, want to do what I do. So what my family has done before me. <laughs>